I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The news flow has generally quieted down during the COVID crisis, but this week things ramped right back up. Mass Roots faced industry backlash after the troubled cannabis platform company announced they got a payroll protection loan of $50,000. Many pointed out that because the company has gotten income from plant-touching cannabis companies, they can't actually get one of these loans. There was a lot of social media demand that the company return the money, but so far CEO Isaac Dietrich has refused. Iconic publisher High Times has hired its third CEO in a year. You may recall that back in January, board member Stormy Simon was promoted to CEO. This was after Craig Fox quit after being CEO for nine months. Simon has now resigned and former Green Growth brand CEO Peter Horvath is the new CEO. The company also just announced a big acquisition of 13 pending and operational licenses from Harvest Health. They're flipping these properties because they just bought them uh, within the last couple of months from Interurban Capital Group. Cannabis REIT Innovative Industrial Properties reported its results for the first quarter ending in March. They had total revenues of about $21 million. This was a 210% increase from the prior year's first quarter, and they also delivered net income of about $11.5 million. The company also said it is deferring rents for some of its tenants and using deposits to pay what was due as a result of the COVID virus. Multi-state operator Juicy Holdings delivered fourth quarter and full year earnings. The company's fourth quarter revenues increased 68% sequentially to $6 million, but they reported a net loss of $17 million. Now for 2019, they had revenue of $10 million and a net loss of $30 million. The company also said that its expansion plans would be delayed due to the pandemic. Flower One announced that it closed on a private placement raising $7.8 million, and data analytics firm BDSA said that March sales for cannabis grew in states like California, Oregon, Colorado, Maryland, and Arizona, so the COVID virus didn't hurt those states, but it did hurt a couple of states, Nevada when the tourists stayed away, and Massachusetts when the governor closed adult use dispensaries. And that's it for this week. Happy Mother's Day to all the canna moms out there. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.